if you're looking to become a better leader, then you may want to attend an upcoming leadership summit. It's planned for August, and Dr. David Powers helps coordinate this summit, and he is our guest today. We want to welcome you back to News 13. Thank Good you. to see you. Yes, ma'am. So this summit comes up August 5th and 6th at the Christ Community Church in Conway. This is an ongoing event, and uh, tell me about it. Well, it happens every year. It's hosted by Willow Creek Church in Chicago. And what they do is they have the live telecast there, and we show it on the movie screens at the church, and that way we can attend a live event for a lot smaller cost. Right, and so tell me about this event. It's two days, August 5th and 6th. Yes, ma'am. It runs all day for both days. It's segmented, though, to where if you can't uh, get away from work for the whole day, you can come in, come out. There won't be armed guards at the door or anything. <laughs> um, but it's a top-quality event with uh, the highest-quality leadership speakers that will be there to, to help uh, learn and train. Well, tell me about these speakers. Well, we're going to have uh, Bill Hybels, who's the pastor of Willow Creek, uh, Jim Collins, the author of Good to Great, uh, Daniel Pink, the author of Drive, and also uh, Tony Dungy. Yeah. Oh, very well known. Yes, I've heard him before. Um, talk about Daniel Pink. He's got this new book out, and you actually just spoke with him on the phone. Recently. Yes, ma'am. Just talked to him Friday. He just got home from his trip to Japan promoting the book. And a uh, very nice guy. He used to be the chief speechwriter for uh, Vice President Gore. Oh, fantastic. And uh, he's uh, a free agent now, as he describes himself, <laughs> and wrote Drive, which is based on motivation, uh, getting away from the stick and carrot approach, uh, more money, more perks, things like that, and getting into what really motivates us on the inside. So that will really be um, insightful for folks. And, you know, this, tell folks how this can be used in their daily lives. Why is it important to learn some of these better leadership skills? I mean, it makes sense, but, you know, more details. Exactly. We all need leadership skills. Everybody from uh, the top CEO, maybe at Burroughs and Chapin or at the news station, uh, to the, the mom that's running a family. Uh, we all need the leadership skills and need to learn how to be better leaders. And so it works at home, at school, at work. And you've been doing this for about five years, so how has it helped you? It's helped me tremendously. I've moved up the ladder in my own business, uh, family business that my father owns. But uh, most I think it's helped me because I've been able to help other people by imparting those leadership skills and also training my two young boys. And I think the one thing that we are learning from this leadership summit, which you've shared with me, is that um, it's not always about getting more money and being uh, uh, pro progressing that way. It's about yourself, your personal skills, and communication. Yes, Am I on the right track Oh, here? yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, sometimes leadership is just about communicating the right way. And uh, certainly the motivation, which the book Drive speaks to, is that we have to learn how to motivate ourselves. Uh, what motivates us personally? Because, you know, it can't always be about money, otherwise you're going to hit a stopping point. That's right. Some great uh, information coming up August 5th and 6th at the Christ Community Church in Conway for this Leadership Summit. Uh, we want to thank you for being here today to tell folks about it. We hope you'll have a very successful event. Yes, ma'am. I hope so. Come see us again soon. And if you would like to attend, again, it's August 5th and 6th, 8 to 5, Christ Community Church, and you will certainly find more information and a link to that summit by going to scnow.com.